Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Muhammad Shweb. Welcome back. Today in this tutorial video, we will learn how we can configure alarm priority in the Win60 SCADA, and we will also learn how we can filter alarm with the priorities level. So, what is a priority in the Win60? Alarm priority is used to categorize and differentiate alarm based on their level of importance and urgency. It helps operator and control system quickly focus on the most critical alarms that require immediate attention. Alarm priority is a numeric value assigned to each alarm that indicate its importance. The lower priority number, the most critical alarm in the WinCC. For example, an alarm priority is one would be indicate the high urgency situation such as system failure, while the higher number uh, priority like 16 may indicate the less critical issues, warnings and in Formations. The priority level in the Simmons WinCC SCADA version 8.0 is between 1 to 1 6. But in different SCADA system, this le the level is different. So, what is the priority level? WinCC allow you to define multiple level of alarm priorities, usually in a range uh, from one like most critical to 16 less critical. The exact number of the priorities and their categorization can vary depend on the project setup. Typically, these uh, all the these all the scheme is there. Like the priority one to three is a critical and require immediate action or attention. Priority 4 to 6 is a high priority and importance but not much urgent. And priority 7 to 9 medium that need attention but not immediate, immediately critical. And like priority 10 to 16 lower or information just for the monitoring system. Like uh, if uh, uh, we want to uh, our client's requirement they want uh, the critical signal uh, should be appear on the alarm uh, alarm control screen. So we can filter our uh, alarms with priority one, two, three. So we'll see in the practically how it will work. So alarm management priority allow operator to quickly access the situation by filtering or sorting alarm based on their importance. In HMI or SCADA system, alarm with high priority, like in the Simon WinCC, actually the lower number, may trigger more visible or audible notifications such as a flashing red or on the screen or the sound and alarm horn. While the low priority alarms might only appear in the background. Filtering by the priority. Operator can filter or group alarm in the WinCC based on their priority. For example, they may want to see only critical alarm like priority 1 to 3 on their main display while the lower priority alarm like system warning are handled in the background. So we will uh, be in this tutorial, we will learn uh, also how we can configure uh, the filter uh, uh, alarm filtration uh, with the priority. So let's see in the one of the practical example. So as you can see, uh, we have here multiple alarm. We will learn shortly in this video how we can configure multiple uh, priorities for the multiple different alarms 
and we will also learn how we can uh, configure these button to filter out these alarms so for example if i want like to filter only the priority one as you can see here so if i want to filter only the priority one alarm how we can filter it so i will just press one it will just filter the priority one alarms and if i will filter here just two as you can see here the priority two is just coming like four so it will just filter the priority four four alarm similar manner five i don't have anything and if i want uh, you want to filter like between priority one to three so here we can also filter the alarm between priority one to three and similar manner between four to six and seven to nine we can also filter it so let's see practically how we can configure our uh, alarm priorities and how we can filter it with with base of the priority so let's see practically so we already create this uh, project in our previous tutorial we will use the same so to assign uh, our alarms priority will open the alarm logging right click and open it so in our previous tutorial in the uh, digital alarm uh, and analog alarm tutorial we already developed uh, these two classes and in the production line one and production line two in the production line one we already created like pump one prep and emergency stop so we'll assign and we did not assign that time priority level so we'll assign uh, like priority zero that we did not assign for any all of the tag have the priority zero so we'll assign here the priority level for example uh, like for me is the most critical uh, signal is a trip like I can assign the priority one and similar manner emergency stop I can put the priority two just to differentiate that also critical but just for me is uh, priority level one is more critical okay and similar manner in the uh, production line two we have also pump two so here I will also assign for the pump pump two trip priority level one and for the emergency stop just priority level two so uh, and similar manner the warning signal these all uh, this signal is uh, like uh, less critical for me and uh, it's it's uh, not a critical is is like just priority is high level so i will assign the priority level four for this signal and similar manner the informational signal here i will assign the priority level just seven it's already zero so i will assign the seven so so i already assigned the priority level for my signals okay so only that's it like uh, this um, like alarms we already uh, learned in our previous tutorial how we can create and how we can like create a, our message class and then message types those are we already uh, learn in our previous tutorial if you did not saw those tutorial just see those tutorial then you will understand how we create these all tags so uh, just reduce the video length i will just skip the configuration part of how we can configure this alarm so just you can just see those videos i will also put the uh, those video link also inside the description so uh, now we assign our tags the priority levels okay based on the our criticality so i will close it now i will open the my graphic designer and i, I will uh, open the my alarm screen so here i create uh, just uh, some multiple buttons like here I put uh, the VB script 
in this button I will open it one by one all of them and then we'll see what I assign so to create a VB script you have to first come here in the event then mouse then press left okay then right click and VBS action so here I just uh, like uh, take the screen atom what is uh, this control one control one is our this alarm control so in the previous tutorial video we already learned uh, we just drag and drop it here okay so how we know this our alarm control object name so you have to come here in the property and you have to click here on the top of alarm uh, ax alarm control and here you can see our the object name so inside script you have to provide in the screen a screen atom you have to provide your object name so i will uh, go back and right click vbs script so as you can see i just create a object alarm control variable and after that i assign that variable the screen atom and then our alarm control object name after that I'm just filtering the message filtering uh, SQL uh, function I'm taking and I'm assigning the priority level one and just press OK and similar manner the priority two I uh, the rest all script is same I just change priority one to two and similar manner four I just change uh, the for priority level four to uh, like four and here actually i don't have the priority level five anything because one of tag is priority level seven i will change five to seven and i will also change this text five to seven okay then for priority if you want to filter between uh, one two three these three priority levels so for that you come here in event mouse and press left vbs action so this rest upside code is uh, remain same and here just only this area i modified so what i mentioned if the priority level is less than uh, like uh, greater than one and the less than three so i just put and operation and then it will give me the result of the uh, priority between one to three similar manner for the button priority four to six here just i change the range and seven to nine also i just change the range Okay, that's it. Okay, we run our project now. So our runtime application is open now. So as you can see, here we are getting multiple alarms like we are getting like zero priority alarms also one two four seven so the first uh, i will click here in the priority one so as you can see only the uh, pump one and two trip is filtered out so just priority one is alarm is filtered out once I will click here priority 2 so you can see only the priority 2 alarm is filtered out similar manner the priority 4 the priority 4 alarm filter out and same the priority 7 alarm is filtered out so if I want to see like emergency stop and trip both in here I want to filter out so as you can see 1 and 2 both is filtered now and similar manner 4 and the alarm 7 so Alhamdulillah, we learn in this tutorial video what is the alarm priority and how we can configure alarm priority for our alarm tags inside the WinCC SCADA.
And after that, we also learn how we can filter out our uh, alarm with the uh, priorities, different priorities levels. So we can like filter out our like uh, most critical alarms. We can filter out through this uh, alarm filtration method. So thanks for watching this video.